Well, this is Texpat Robert Rice, and welcome to my world. Well, hello, everybody, and uh, I just want to show you the last of this winter's storm number five if you can look down here see there's just a bunch of ice you can see where the car was sitting here before it left last night and uh, what's on here is ice it's about a half inch thick and that's is it this is the last of this February's winter. I don't know what's going to happen in March or April. Um, even the creek is flowing. was covered completely in ice. It's starting to flow. And uh, you can see the tracks where people have been walking back there. Uh, they weren't even covered up. It was just mostly sleet last night. Um, very little snow as you can see here on my car it's just ice it's all it is you know there was no snow and this here is uh, sleet that has congealed and formed into ice but the good news is Sometime last night while I was asleep, the power came back on. And it's too bad I was asleep because I don't have a central heating system. That would have automatically come on. But what I do have is a, uh, is a room heater. And uh, so go, I applied. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Dwayne. Just make sure you don't fall. Oh, no. Nah, I'm about to bust that ice up right now. At least on these steps. Hey, you better fix your uh, windshield yeah, wiper. I, I leave them up when it's snow like that. Yeah. But, it, but it's looking silly. I ain't froze, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Dwayne. He lives upstairs from me. Uh, driving is still treacherous. Now, I've been off work Monday night, Tuesday night. Today's Wednesday. And, uh, you can see all this was cleared out pretty much yesterday. This was all cleared out pretty much yesterday. I mean, it was almost bare road, but now it's just covered in ice again. We are going to stay below freezing all day today. So all that snow that was packed down all that snow that was packed down it's, <laughs> it's now got a layer of ice over everything. And they still haven't sanded this place. No sanding no uh, uh, salt or nothing. They're just like, I guess they didn't think it was going to be a cold winter, so they never ordered anything. But let me be careful coming down this thing, because this is a 30-degree upgrade going right up to the highway, the highway you just saw. And uh, this is a 30-degree upgrade, so trying to get up this unless you, if you don't have new cars or new tires on your car you're probably not going to get up uh that grade uh i was fortunate that the uh power came back on uh i didn't i checked the everything in the freezer everything's fine uh checked everything in the refrigerator everything's fine uh, my neighbor, uh, who lives down 
the, that building down there with the light on. Uh, she had uh, gave me some bottled water so that uh, I could uh, make some coffee. So that's what I did. Good thing I had clean dishes, you know, clean a clean pot to be able to make the water. And I'm going to tell you something, that coffee was awful good this morning. Now, huh? I don't know. I haven't checked. Neighbors asked me if the convenience store is opened yet. And... Uh, See, all this is ice down here. I want to tell you something. As beautiful, the nice thing about snow and the cold. The nice thing about it is, it is. When you when I got up this morning, I got up about eight thirty. Put my clothes on, walked outside. It was quiet. And the, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. I love the scenery. So I'm not uh, complaining about that. My biggest complaint was the city and the, uh, you know, and I don't want to go as far as the state because the, st the governor of Texas uh, has called all the uh, people from the, uh, has called all the people from the uh, <coughs> energy producers in Texas to want to know why, you know, two-thirds of the state lost power. Because we're not on the, the national grid, you know, the rest of the United States. We have our own grid system. And they wanted to know, and he's calling them in and putting, putting them to question, you know, why did this happen? and make sure it never happens again. You know, people lose their lives in extreme cold. I mean, if it's extreme heat, you can go out and sit under a tree. But, uh, but in, the, in the extreme cold, you cannot. You have to, you have to have shelter and you have to have, uh, uh, some kind of way to heat yourself because they they discourage everybody here from having wood burning stoves or ways to be able to be energy independent. They have discouraged that, and they said, "Trust us, we'll do this for you." Well, they didn't do it for us. We lost power. I've still got no water, um, and I probably won't have the water turned back on until probably. Friday when it's actually supposed to be above freezing. So I got we got two more two more days of extreme cold. No more chance of uh no more chance of uh snow or ice or anything like that for the week. And now that we're you know, we just got to get out of the cold snap so that we can uh, have power. But uh or have water. Uh, so hopefully it'll be soon, you know, cause I've been having to go to the convenience store, which is the only one that has been open just to go do my business. And, uh, so because they have water, their water is running and, uh, this, you don't want to just have to get you know, go over to the convenience store just to go to the bathroom. You know. So, anyways, this is it, guys. Shipley's has been closed since for five days now. Uh, the owner did not want it, their, his employees to uh, to drive in this weather, and I don't blame it. Uh, I've been since 
Uh, I've been uh, told not to come in to my work for since uh, Monday. So this will be my third day. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. Uh, uh, they're not going to let uh, us drive in in the middle of the night when everything starts to freeze back over again. All the, or all the, uh, or all the water starts to freeze back over again on the roads. So, I just want to make sure you're clear, like when you got the. Love, yeah, I understand. Like when you got hey, the and y'all tell everybody on my tell aisle. everybody on my YouTube channel hello. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the one, you know. Now <laughs> here, 2207. I'll have to delete hill. that word. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> you know, I'm standing right there knowing this hill is slippery. I guess I'll just wait. I can't believe he's actually going to walk over there. Is uh, that ice or is that just slushed up? <laughs> you looked at it earlier, didn't you? Yeah, I just went up there and oh, so saw it's, ice. It's all right. Got to go. All right. They get a run and start. All right. That was Dwayne. Uh, I'll find a way to take care of that F-bomb, but, uh, yeah, you know, I love cold weather. I, I don't mind the snow. I don't mind the ice. In fact, I love it. There's a certain feel about it, but, you know, Indigenous people here, which is what I am a part of, Cherokee, we learned how to deal with snow and ice because we had fires burning in our homes. Now, of course, you got people nowadays that have gone stupid and they would light a fire in their home and catch their home on fire because they don't know what they're doing. Uh Anyway, end of this one. Guys, thank you. Uh, people that have commented on my other videos, thank you. Uh, people that have uh, watched my other videos, my subscribers, I appreciate it, every one of you. I may be on the low end of the totem pole when it comes to YouTube uh, channels, but you guys keep me going. I don't mind coming out here and doing stuff. This will be the last snow video <laughs> for February. I can guarantee you that because next week is supposed to, the temperature is supposed to rise up quite a bit and uh, all this will be gone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll chat with you later. Uh, since the power is back on, I'm going to try to finish up my Nimrod video, uh, my second one for it. And, uh, and we'll get that posted hopefully uh, this weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.